In this video, we show how the SwarmBot mobile robot platform can self-assemble into specific connected morphologies. Each so-called SBOT is completely autonomous. We designed a distributed morphology control mechanism. That means that none of the SBOTs have any global idea of the pattern that is being formed. The SBOT LED ring and camera allow SBOTs to locate each other and provide a simple form of communication. As the SBOTs connect to each other, they use simple rules based on what they can see around them to decide how to extend the pattern. This type of visual communication and navigation is, however, extremely limited because of the range of the camera and the limited processing power of the SBOT, which only allows for crude three-color segmentation. An SBOT can open what we call a connection slot by lighting up its blue and green LEDs. A connection slot indicates both the desired angle and the specific place in which a connecting SBOT should grasp. After each connection, both the gripped and gripping SBOTs change their configurations. These configuration changes follow simple rules based on what the SBOT can see in his immediate surroundings. By manipulating these simple rules, different morphologies can be formed. Each robot only acts on the basis of local information. None of the robots have any concept of a global morphology. Nonetheless, when many robots all follow the same specific set of rules, a distinct global morphology emerges. The morphology generation mechanism is generic and allows for an arbitrary number of different morphologies to be formed. To demonstrate the mechanism, we formed four different morphologies the star morphology, the line morphology, the arrow morphology, and the dense morphology. We generated morphologies using up to nine real autonomous robots. The morphology generation mechanism proved robust and reliable, with a connection success rate of over 90%. Because the morphology construction mechanism is distributed, it scales well. We have conducted scalability tests with larger numbers of robots in simulation. In ongoing research, we are currently extending this system so that the robots can adapt to different situations by autonomously choosing and constructing an appropriate morphology. For instance, a line morphology is appropriate if the robots need to cross a trough. Other terrain might require the more stable, dense morphology.